San Antonio Zoo is hosting Monarch Fest this weekend, and I went behind the scenes to show you how you can help the butterfly community right here in San Antonio. Here at the San Antonio Zoo, and I've got Lori Brown, butterfly specialist here, and there's a very beautiful species that is important to San Antonio that you can help even at home because it is endangered. Lori, what butterfly species is that? We're talking about, today we're going to be talking about the monarch butterfly. Um, it's a fabulous native San Antonio species that migrates um, from Mexico through San Antonio, through most of the United States, every, all the way up to Canada every year. Um, and we see that migration twice every year. Um, and the city of San Antonio is a very important species. We have some caterpillars here and some milkweed here to show you guys. Now, why is so, milkweed important to the monarch butterfly? Milkweed is important to the monarch butterfly because they, it is the only host plant of um, their caterpillars. So it's the only thing their caterpillars eat. Um, otherwise, you know, if there's no milkweed, their babies have no food. So. so we see some of them on here and then what, what are these? This is, um, first one as a butterfly will go to a milkweed. Um, mom will taste the leaves and see if they're tasty and she will put an egg on that leaf. Caterpillar will hatch out and eat and shed and grow. And then when they're about to turn into a butterfly, they become a chrysalis right beforehand. So the, the, uh, the caterpillar will turn into one of these. Now, what we're going to show you is something that you can make that can feed butterflies even in your own backyard. Fabulous, fabulous. So what we're talking today is a little bit about butterfly brew. Um, butterfly brew is made up of mixing and cutting up bananas. So you want um, organic? So organic you and want, uh, almost kind of rotten. Yep, yep. You want to wait till they're rotten and soft and gross. And then the reason we call it butterfly brew is that you have to use a beer. Um, so butterflies actually uh, um, enjoy fermented foods. Um, so beer is one of those things. So if you've got an old kind of stalish beer you didn't like, you can give it to them. Um, so this is another way to, to do it. They're, they're not too incredibly picky. We're going to put in some bee pollen. Um, bee pollen is a, and you can buy this, you know, the vitamin section at any of your, your grocery stores. Um, and you'll just take the tablets and open them and spread them out over the mixture. And you mix in about, you know, I like to mix in about five, ten. Okay. The great thing about it is you don't have to be too credibly exact. So then we're going to add in some agave nectar and we're going to squeeze in half the bottle. Half the bottle? Half the bottle. So they love sugar. Um, this is a great thing that will attract them and get them some good um, sugar in order to make it um, to grow. So agave nectar is something that butterflies love. Next thing that we have is amino fuels. So these are, you can get these from your local grocery store or a vitamin shop. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't have, if you're not a bodybuilder or a workout champion, um, you can always just use a scoop of Gatorade. Now the next and most, one of the most important steps is sugar. Organic. Uh, organic, non-GMO sugar, and you use about half the bag half here again. Bag. So. And beer, you're gonna use the whole beer. The whole beer, so. just put it in there. Mm -hmm. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put it, blend it up, put it in a pitcher, leave it in your fridge for about 10 days to ferment, um, and then it's ready to use. So we have some that's prepared and fermented and delicious for the butterflies. And what you'll do is you'll put this on a plate in the sun somewhere, because butterflies are sun-loving animals, so they love to come out in the sun. Um, and you can just take some ordinary kitchen sponges, cut them up into a few sections so they've got something to absorb that brew and then dry out automatically, give them something to land on, and then you go there. There you are. Delicious. Thank you so much, nice. Lori, for all this information and, of course, more information on the San Antonio Zoo. Just head to our website, salive.com.